primary key how to create a primary key in SQL server for example uh, this is the table which I'm going to create and I want to apply a primary key constraint on column number before we start doing it uh, let's try to get what is a primary key primary key is nothing but it will help us to identify any row any claim in a table primary key will not allow any null values or any duplicate values so to create a primary key on column number we can directly give it here after the data type by mentioning primary key just select this statement and press F5 the table has been created now try to insert the into test select one for number and Ravi as a name position as angle let me try to insert this record the record has been inserted let me see the data data is available now let me try to insert the same record to this table you see a error message here violation of primary key constraint cannot insert a duplicate key in object in the viewer test so that's the advantage of a primary key it will not allow any duplicate values to it okay this is one way of creating primary key on a single column what if why we want to create a primary key on more than one column sometimes it is needed that we cannot uh, go with one column to identify a row uniquely in a table we may need to combine more than one column it's nothing but a composite key to identify any record uniquely okay next now what we do here uh, we'll try to drop this table Create it firstly by applying the primary key constraint on more than one column. I'm just copying this table here. Since we are going to add a primary key on more than one column, we cannot do it after end of the column. We have to do it after end of all the columns. You have to mention Primary key on list of column names. Constraint. You have to mention uh, constraint and list of columns are number and name. Let me try to uh, execute this one. Table has been created with a primary key constraint on two columns that is number and name. Let me try to insert this particular record here loud and um, let me try to insert one more record with the same one it says violation of the primary key constraint you cannot insert duplicate key into the table dbo.test that is nothing but this is the value 101 comma ravi that combination is already available in the table so you cannot insert the same record again so this is how we can now uh, identify uh, if any duplicate records are there with a primary key constraint okay this is one way of creating it just say that uh, we have a table which is already defined but there is no primary key constraint on top of it so we need to add primary key constraint after creating the table let's see how we are going to do that Copying it unless before that let me drop it and then i'll copy and paste I'll remove the constraint here. Let me create this table. Now, I need to use the alter command to add a constraint for it. Alter table add alter table. Table name is text add constraint. Constraint name is primary key underscore test. We have to mention what kind of constraint it is. That is primary key on what are the list of the columns. Let's say I'm doing it on column number. 
let's see how it will execute. So I see an, an error. Cannot define primary key constraint on nullable columns in table test. That is why, because when we create this table, this is a nullable column. Let me uh, refresh and show you how the table structure is. If you go to the columns, it says number is an integer data type and it is a nullable column. So you cannot create a primary key on nullable column. So uh, before this, what do you need to do? We have to change the uh, constraint of that column from not null to not null. So what we'll do, alter table test. We have to mention alter column. Column name is number, data type is int, not null. This, and then come back here and execute this one. Primary key has been created. Let me try to insert the data to this table. First time it will be fine. Second time when I do it, it gives another. This is how we can create a primary key constraint on existing table. Okay. And let me uh, draw this one again and show how to apply a primary key constraint on existing column with more than existing table with more than two columns. Okay. Let me uh, create this table again. And I'll just copy this one and I'll apply on uh, both the columns. Number, comma, name. Run it. Again, I'll get the same issue. So what do I need to do? Both the number and name are nullable columns. We have to change it back to not null. OK? So this is one. Again, now we have to do it for name. Name is of type where 100. Let me uh, run it. Now we can create the constraint. Let me try to insert the data. First time it is inserted. Second time when you try it, it says this particular value is already there in the table, so you cannot enter it. So this is how we can now uh, add a primary key constraint on top of your table. OK. Now one more uh, thing is uh, let me try to create a primary key on table where data is already exist. Let me uh, try to drop it and recreate. OK. I'll just create the table. OK. And then now uh, let me insert a record. And then come back here and try to create a primary key. Again, it will give normal value. Let me make it as not null. And then create a primary key. So this is how we can create a primary key where data is already available. But let's try to see when there is a duplicate record already exist in the table and try to create a primary key, whether it will throw any error or not. For that, I'll drop the table. Come back here. Let me try to mention not null while creating the table itself. If only uh, one not null is needed because we'll create a primary key only on number. Just created the table. And let me insert one time, second time. Two records have been inserted. Let me see the data. Same records are available, which is a duplicate. Now let me try to create a primary key. Yes, it's the create unique index statement terminator because the duplicate key was found for the object name DB or test. So you cannot enter the data at the duplicate value of 101 two times. So that's the greatness and help of a primary key which is available in SQL Server. Hope you understand this. Thanks for watching.